I'm gonna inject some of your pee into our friend here. And if you're pregnant, it's gonna cause a chemical reaction in the frog, causing it to lay eggs overnight. Where do you get off, Andrews, taking advantage of my sister? You are fake news. Okay, first of all, you encouraged me to date Cheryl. And second of all, I didn't. We did not go all the way. That's not what Cheryl's saying. Cheryl, why did you tell your brother we went all the way? I can't explain it. But by saying that we did, it's helping me with a problem I'm having. Just know that by corroborating my story, you'd be protecting me. Protecting you? How? And from whom? My family. Gee, please don't ask me any more questions than that. I want to get this back to you, Betty. That was fast. Did you glean something from it, at least? I think so. I think I know what you want. Hand? And I, I want to wait until marriage. Oh, I see. Kevin and I broke up. Wow. What do I do now? Well, what's wrong? Mrs. Blossom just came by. Is it true what she's saying you and Cheryl did? Yes. How did this happen? Mama, I don't really feel comfortable discussing this with you. You think I do? Never mind. Just go upstairs and change into your suit. Why? Because you and I are going over the Blossoms for dinner to figure out a path through this mess that you and Cheryl made. OK. So tell me, Archie, what do you think of the Russia problem? The Russia problem, sir? The Russians arming themselves against us, infiltrating us, undermining our very way of life. Well, well Russia is a big, it's a massive problem, sir. It's, I mean, clearly, a very smart young man, Archie. No. All right, first things first, let's get you that decaf. You know what, Betty, let's go. You don't want to see this. To work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where have you been, young lady? I was just having coffee with my friend Tony. Well, Kevin likes boys. Even if he does, it's just a phase. Based on your actions, the best thing to do would be for you and Cheryl to get married. Married? Aren't Cheryl and I too young to do that? I have to take a test now, too? You're a terrible liar. If you already know the whole story, then why the third degree? Because they're trying to bamboozle Ethel. First question. Do you come from similar backgrounds? The Blossoms are descended from European barons and baronesses. My dad used to talk about how Grandpa Artie and his wife barely survived the Dust Bowl. Very good. Second question, are you close friends? <laughs> Last question, do you understand the concept of marriage? No. Have I clarified things? I don't know what you think you saw, but Clay and I were just kidding around. No. So, after dinner, what do you think about walking me home? Shucks. Do you want to explain this to me? What were you doing in my room? Cleaning it. Now tell me, why do you have this book? I was reading it, Mom. It doesn't matter where I got it, and I'm not done reading it yet. Betty, young lady, I burned it. Your sex book? So you won't be reading it under the covers anymore. Uncle Frank, what are you doing here? Sounded like I needed to come to town to knock some heads. Starting with yours. Get the fuck out!